What is going on guys? What is going on 27 squad? Welcome back into another video and this is going to be the most unedited video I've probably ever made in a long, very long time as my camera keeps going in and out of focus. Don't know what's really going on with that but this is my webcam, my cheap little webcam. Um, like I said, it's going to be one of the most unedited videos you guys have ever seen uh, on this channel before just because that I just lately I've been so busy at work so I apologize uh, not being able to get the videos out to you that is partly my fault. Partly because I didn't know that it was going to get this busy this fast. I worked for the post office and I didn't know holiday season was going to get this bad this quick as we're still in late October and it's already looking like Christmas uh, as far as you know mail and uh, packages go and things like that. So that being said, <coughs> sorry, that being said, no editing. I'm not going to, I'm not trying my best not to edit it, edit, edit this at all, but that being said, um, obviously, I have to get a better schedule worked out. I need to figure out the times. I need to plan videos, record, edit, things like that. It's, it's taking a little bit of time. Uh, when I find the, the chance to do that, you know, your content will be uh, available to you guys, you know, as normal. I just got to figure out when is the best times to record, edit, things like that, and plan out videos. So that's, that's partly my fault, partly because I was caught by surprise with the uh, crazy work life I'm having right now that is totally unexpected because it wasn't like that la la last year. So that being said, I just want to talk a little bit about Washington versus the Giants. The Giants, um, I believe going to Washington, I'll have to check that out on my phone. But while I talk about that, um, you know, there are some concerns right now uh, going for in Giants, the Giants world right now. And that concern is we might be without Dexter Lawrence and we might be without Darius Slayton. Now, Dexter Lawrence can be replaceable just because we have a very strong interior defensive line. You know, B.J. Hill, uh, R.J. McIntosh, guys like that back up. And Austin Johnson as well, who's been getting more and more snaps and actually been looking good, you know, when he's filled in, uh, stopping the run. And I've also seen him rush the passer a couple of times. We are playing at home in this game. And um, it says here, lost four straight games by 14 points plus points I guess that's uh the past couple of weeks that's Washington by the way um and you guys know the Giants have a very strong rivalry with uh Washington a very a very strong record not really rivalry because the Giants have been beating up on them but um yeah like I said we might be without Dexter Lawrence we might be without Sterling uh Darius Slayton like I said just got out of work so anyway um, that, that's a really big impact for Darius Slayton. Like I said, Dar Dexter Lawrence can be replaceable. Uh, Dexter Lawrence hasn't, um, is playing well, but not really, you know, irreplaceable. Darius Slayton is, is the best receiver we have on the roster right now. And the fact that he will not, might not play and the Giants will only have three receivers on the roster. I hope we promote somebody to the active roster. I don't know who that would be. And I don't know who he, who that would be replacing, but that would just leave Golden Tate. Austin Mack and CJ Board as our top receivers and our only receivers in this game if we are without Darius Slayton. So that is a huge red flag there. And I'm not looking forward uh, to the wide receiver matchup against these young corners. Um, you know, Jimmy Moreland and, you know, Kendra, Kendra Fuller and a couple guys uh, on that secondary are doing really, really well for Washington right now. Their defense isn't actually performing much too bad. They have. 14 sacks on the season. Now that's a little skewed because they got like half of those sacks or a little bit more than half. I think they had eight sacks or six or seven around that range, six to eight sacks against Wash against Philadelphia week one. And I guess they've doing it off since then. The Giants uh, are totaled at 12 sacks right now. So a little behind, but we've been a little bit more consistent defensively than Washington. Obviously, we have a better defense as well. As far as the matchup for Washington's offense, they're going to be starting Kyle Allen. I imagine we will see Alex Smith some point in this game. I hope the Giants are preparing for both. I think the only threat on this Washington team offensively is Antonio Gibson, who is a rookie, and Terry McLaurin, who is a second-year player. I really don't care about their offensive line. I think the Giants will do fine with it, even though we're going to be without O'Shane and without Lorenzo Carter for the year. I think Marcus Golden and Kyler Fackrell are probably our better pass rushers anyway. So I think we'll do just a fine job there. Interior, Dexter Lawrence, like I said, BJ Hill, RJ McIntosh, um, and Austin Johnson, one of those guys, or maybe there'll be a rotation of those guys filling in the spots. 
So I think the defense will be just fine. I believe this is another game we have Jabril Peppers back. We all know how that went without Jabril Peppers, and it was not very good. Guys were able to run, especially tight ends, were able to run all over us uh, you know, in the middle of the field. We need Jabril Peppers back and healthy. Now, the second cornerback spot seems to be filled by this Ryan Lewis kid. We don't really know too much about him, but it seems like he's doing a pretty good job there. Our secondary is looking pretty good. Um, we should be expecting Xavier McKinney back sometime, but not in this game. Um, you know, James Bradbury leads the league in passive defense with, I believe, nine. So he's having a fantastic year as well. Blake Martinez having a fantastic year. I'm, I'm excited about the defense. I'm not worried about them whatsoever. I think the Giants are going to win this game. And it sucks that I wasn't able to make a preview of this game, but I honestly think the Giants are going to win this game. Um, and handedly as well. I think 17 is the magic number. Washington only surpassed 17 points twice this season. Not that the Giants surpass it anymore as we only surpassed it once. But I think this defense is strong enough to keep them to about 17 points while we raise the bar up and the defense gives us opportunities to score. I think this is the worst defense we've faced so far. Well, not the worst. The second worst uh, defense we've faced so far this season with the Cowboys being the worst and we put up 27 offensive points against them. I think we'll be okay. Um, and uh, I, I think we could get over 17. But 17 is the magic number for Washington as they only surpassed that twice this season, once when they beat Philadelphia and once when they lost... And they scored 20 points to a team. Who was it? Who was it? Was it Cleveland? I think it was Cleveland. I think they faced Cleveland. And uh, they only, they, they, I think it was like 34 to 20, something like that. They lost the game 34 to 20 where they were able to get 20 points. So that being said, 17 is a magic number. If the Giants can get over that, I believe we secured the win. Now the Giants need to be very careful in the turnover uh, area department. Daniel Jones has been doing a good job. I don't think he's thrown a pick since the Los Angeles Rams game, which is two games, right? Is that two games? That's one game. Is it one game? I can't remember. Uh, hold on. Yeah, that's one game. Okay, we one game with no pick. Um, but still, uh, Daniel Jones, it seems to be he's getting, he's learning and getting better with the whole fumbles thing. Usually, we would have like two or three scares a game. Now, we're having one scare a game, which is, I guess, is an improvement. We need Daniel Jones not to turn over the ball. Can we get a game where Daniel Jones does not turn over the football? I don't want to see a boneheaded interception. I don't want to see a game-losing interception where we're driving down the field and it's all for naught. We've seen that way too many times. Pittsburgh and the Rams, obviously. Uh, I don't want to see any fumbles, even the blind side fumbles. Andrew Thomas needs to do a better job protecting the blind side. Okay, so I'm holding him accountable too. I'm saying it's the offensive line and Daniel Jones. They need to be a collective. They need to be a group and, you know, think, uh, you know, uh, in one accord really and, and play in one accord, have that chemistry. Um, you know, the interior of the line really, um, really worries me as well with Will Hernandez really regressing and Nick Gates doing a terrible job so far at center. Uh, it's not looking good for the offensive line right now. And I hope Matt Parrott gets a chance to play in this game. I know he's facing against, you know, this is a very good front seven. But really, if you look at our whole schedule, there isn't really a game where you could just say, hey, you could throw in Matt Parrott. I mean, he's going to be facing tough talent every single game, no matter what game he's in. That's just how good our schedule is from a front seven point of view um, this season in 2020. So I think this would be a good game to throw in Matt Parrott. It's a rivalry game, one that the Giants have won a lot and it's at home so there should be some comfortability there I know there's a whole new coaching staff they're not used to the rivalry but as far as the Giants goes we're, we're pretty comfortable with this game we're not really scared about this game and I, I don't think the Giants as players should be either I think Matt Pear should be comfortable and I think they, this is the game that they should put him in and start and see what happens um you know so We'll see what happens. We, we'll see if we see a Dwayne Haskins appearance. Who knows? Daniel Jones versus Dwayne Haskins. Everybody wanted to see that rivalry um, and see who was the better pick. Uh, we don't know really know who that is yet because Dwayne Haskins was benched. And for me, I don't think there was a good enough reason to do that. Um, but like I said, I think the Giants are going to win this game pretty handedly. Now... The run game needs to be good. Washington surrenders a lot of yards against the run. They're allowing everybody to run the ball against them. They've been doing that for years. Uh, you would think they have a front seven with Deron Payne and Jonathan Allen, guys like that. I'm receiving a call right now. Um, so, yeah, the unedited guys. Don't worry. Don't worry about it. But, um, 
So, you know, you would think that they do a good job stopping the run, but they do not. They're a very weak run defense. You would think, like I said, with Deron Payne, Jonathan Allen, uh, uh, Ioannidis as well, Matt Ioannidis, um, guys like that, you would think they do a very good job stopping the run. They don't. So, Devontae Freeman and Wayne Goleman. Wayne Goleman, last time, last year, he played the um, the Redskins. He did a phenomenal job in the air and on the ground. So, we'll see what happens with Wayne Goleman. He should have another good game. Um, but it all depends on our wide receivers. It all depends on, you know, if Darius Slayton plays. If Slayton plays, this is a really, really good advantage for the Giants. If he doesn't play, we're left with three wide receivers on the roster. If not, we get a fourth guy in here, but it's probably going to be Alex Bachman or Benjamin Victor. And this these guys have not seen the active roster at all this season. I've, I'm getting hiccups. Everything's happening. This is what happens when you don't edit a video. So, that being said, guys, um, I'm running on 10 minutes now. I didn't even know it was that long. Holy moly. I thought it was like 6 or 7. But that being said, guys, um, I think the Giants are going to win. I'll say a 24-17. I think that's conservative. I think that's fair. I'll say the Giants win 24-17. And bold prediction. Bold prediction. I don't think Daniel Jones turns over the ball this week. Bold prediction. See you guys in the next video. Where's my mouse? There it is.